Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add lighting effects to your photos. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is come to the toolbar at the top and uh, click on the Filters toolbar and come down to Lighting. Uh, you're going to be presented with uh, uh, the light effect right here and the lighting panel over here. Now this lighting effect is uh, done in a series of six dots that allow you to edit your light and uh, you can move your light like this. Uh, these dots right here will allow you to uh, move the inner cone of the light. These will allow you to move the outer cone of the light. This allows you to move how close the light source or I guess uh, along the z-axis so if it's uh, shining directly like a spotlight or it's coming over here it's a sort of z-axis change and uh, in the lighting panel you can do a lot more with uh, the diffuse slider you can uh, make the lighting more uh, powerful uh, in the specular you can uh, add sort of a backlighting and how powerful and in the uh, final slider you can change how present or how uh, focused the light is and you can change that color right here. Now, uh, one of the best uh, effects you can use is actually the ambient light. So if you turn up the ambient light, it's going to give you more of the light that's in the natural photo. And this allows you to very well mix your light. If you turn it all the way down, uh, your light is the only light being shown here. So this would be the only light source in the photo. Um, you can change the uh, color of your light over here and you can make it like red if you go to yellow you can make it more like vintage here and turn the ambient light down a little bit but um, you can change the direction with this wheel right here and you can even do uh, the job of uh, the little dots here in these sliders now you can even add more lights just by coming over here and clicking add and adding a different uh, amount of lights and this is good if you have multiple uh, light sources needed and you can even change the texture of your light you can make it more hard, you can uh, slide it up and make it more of like a soft out of focus light it makes it a little blurry and you can change the opacity of your light so slide that up and down uh, there's a bunch of other different things you can change. You can change the ambient light color. So if it's like an outside picture, you can make a bunch of different effects just by playing around with the light panel. Uh, it's a really great tool for uh, real world photography if you want to add more light sources that you didn't have before in post production. Uh, it's really. Uh, a good tool to use if you have something like a person standing next to a window and that light isn't enough for your shot. So uh, that's uh, all these uh, different things you can do. You can uh, play around for more. Uh, there's probably more in the light panel that I haven't shown, but uh, if you just play around, you should be able to find most of the other stuff. Uh, but that is the uh, the light tool under filters in Affinity Photo. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a like and subscribe for more Affinity Creative Suite tutorials. Uh, and thanks for watching.